we fight to gain what we cannot take with us. It's in our nature. Hello there. Sir from 17 once again. This is my Assassin's Creed Syndicate. 100% sequence walkthrough. This is sequence 5. What? 100% sequence, sorry. 100% sync. It's called Friendly Competition, this mission. And we're going to be driving this, uh, this MILF around, whatever you want to call her. This, uh, shall we say, matured lady. Now, I've learnt in my experience with older ladies, even though that is not a great way of expressing what they are, that they don't like to be, have that point pointed out. And there is no elegant way of, of saying it. There's just no way of doing it, because some some girls have grown into women, and then, then some are uh, quite sensitive over their age. And I stumbled into a fantastic situation at university when <laughs> there was a bunch of mature students, uh, three of them were female, and I made the mistake of calling them mature students because they thought immediately that I was making an age joke. It's like, I'm digging a hole right now and I don't want to sleep with any of you, so I'm just going to fuck off. <laughs> and, and that's how I remedied it. But in this beginning sequence here, you have to chase down this particular driver. There will be moments where it looks like a friendly is being attacked, but it has nothing to do with anything, so don't deviate or you'll fail. And you have to save this guy from his pursuers. If you don't kill this pursuer, uh, he's going to kill the guy you're, you're meant to be saving. So as soon as you take him down, all you have to do is go over to this yard and drop a smoke bomb. But I'm going to be showing you a little uh, crossfade here because I didn't realise you could do it. So I get to the, the point, it won't let me do it because I'm not anonymous, all these people stack up and I end up getting shot to death. So when I reloaded the checkpoint, I had nobody on me and all I had to do was reach this yard. So it does work out, but drop a smoke, you'll have no issue. And then this section now should have been really smooth, should have been really great, but once again, Assassin's Creed does what it does best and it fucks up, and it puts me into an awkward situation where I have to lose some people. So, I recruit those first bunch of dudes, and I send them to attack these people. If you're quick enough here, you should be able to do this no hassle, and if you utilise the smoke bomb method of dropping it when you need to interact with something, you might be able to get away with this just fine. But send them off fighting, that will distract them, then come over to this and start pushing. Once you've finished pushing it, all you have to do is interact with it and ignite, and you've done. But I get... I'm not anonymous for whatever reason, there's somebody close to me that can kind of see me or some other bullshit and it won't let me interact and then it takes me a good minute to become anonymous because this game just doesn't work right and it's awkward. So this would be a perfect strategy on any other game. Like no one's looking at me, no one's even remotely close to me, but it will not let me touch it. I cannot do it. And then boom, somebody fucking sees me and now I have to become anonymous and it's just that thing of... If this game worked half as good as it looked, it'd be such a better game. And then this dude starts going this way, so I don't want to kill him, because I, I want to try and be a little cleaner than some of the other missions. But I know that these people will see me, because they've all got fantastic vision, which is another reason why it fundamentally fails as a stealth game. You can't give your AI really good vision unless the vision has a weakness. The vision on this game is god tier, and it's not even the hardest difficulty, it just it doesn't add up. There's no room for the player to have success. It's, it's all just nonsense, and it, it makes it really frustrating, because I've played a lot of stealth games, I understand the fundamentals of stealth, there has to be some kind of gimmick to the vision to enable the player to be empowered and still struggle. You can't just have perfect fucking head on a swivel vision, you can't do it, and that's why this game's a piece of shit, because you'll go to moments where they see you through fucking walls, because they're way too alert, and it's just stupid. And you can use the conceit of realism, which is what a lot of people do, but it's like, I'm in a machine that sends me into people's memories of the past where I'm running around London where women can actually do things and are not massively oppressed. So, your realism just doesn't work, and that argument is fundamentally flawed, and it's just this thing of, I now have to get out of the area, run all the way over here to break this fucking bullshit ring of threat, badly designed nonsense, so that I can go back over there and touch a fucking wagon. And it's just annoying. And people will perceive this as me complaining. Like, this took me one attempt, guys. It's not like it inconvenienced my life in any way. It's just the game should work better. This is the ninth fucking game. You can't be say, you know, you did it wrong or you didn't do this. The game should work better. Why can't I burn it from the back? It doesn't make any sense. It's the fucking same thing. Like, it just so much frustration with the simple things that should work better and they just don't and watch that people are actively aware of me so I'm gonna have to kill them 
And I'm using the, uh, I don't know the name of the knife, it's like a Kakri or something. It's, it's kind of like a weird Gurkha knife. And it's super, super potent as a weapon because its lethality stat is its highest, which means it doesn't stun, it just kills. And you see, now I've killed them, now I can mess with it. What's any different? Then when I first tried to mess with it and it wouldn't let me, other than we didn't turn on the detection and you got fucked by bad game design. Like, answers on a postcard. Because I just couldn't tell you. And then you wait for it to blow up and you've effectively done the mission. And it's an easy mission, it's just, it could have been a minute and a half shorter <laughs> if the game worked. So thank you for watching. I apologise that uh, I don't like the flaws of this game. And you take care now.